When it comes to choosing a Linux distribution for your laptop or desktop, Ubuntu and Linux Mint are two of the most popular options. I've been using both of them for a long time and both are amazing distros with really impressive feature sets, superior stability, fantastic software availability and a strong community to name some. But at the same time, there are striking differences between them and with the latest Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and Linux Mint 22 releases, these differences have only grown bigger. In fact, Linux Mint and Ubuntu couldn't be farther away from each other. They both use different desktop environments, different unified package managers, there are differences in the performance, stability and the philosophy of these two operating systems and the list just goes on. But since Ubuntu and Linux Mint share a common lineage and there is a strong connection between the two, it can be hard choosing one over the other at times. So in this video, we'll be comparing Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and Linux Mint 22 side by side. We'll see how they measure up in terms of speed, stability, software choice, usability, user interface and finally decide which one is the best operating system for you. Starting off with the user interface, this is where we see the biggest divergence between Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Ubuntu 24.04 gives us a classy and modern GNOME 46 whereas Linux Mint 22 gives us the clean and simple Cinnamon 6.2. While both Ubuntu and Mint are available with other UI options like Mate Desktop, XFC and more, these are the default desktop environments. Ubuntu ships with a customized GNOME that is both easy to use and absolutely gorgeous to look at. A dominant side panel is added here and it is the primary control center of the Ubuntu desktop. This panel makes it easier to launch our favorite applications. This panel also enables us to switch between running apps with ease. So this radically redefines the workflow of GNOME desktop. Horizontal workspaces, app grid and other things are the same as in stock GNOME desktop. In my personal opinion, Ubuntu's side panel significantly promotes productivity and that ease of using the system when compared to stock GNOME. The always visible dock, quick app switching and multitasking features all help users to get work done faster. As someone who has to work with multiple applications at the same time, this setup definitely has an appeal over the stock setup. Talking about the looks, Ubuntu brings its own Yaru theme to GNOME 46 and it's a beautiful blend of orange, maroon and black colors. And this is stunning to look at. This theme makes the desktop look sleek and stylish. The applications too look very good here. And there's a dark theme that's equally stunning if not more. The fonts on Ubuntu are one of the best we see in any operating system. Overall, whether you're new to Linux or an experienced user, Ubuntu's modern and gorgeous UI is really going to appeal to you. Moving on to Linux Mint 22, we get the all new Cinnamon 6.2 here. Cinnamon Desktop is probably the single biggest selling point for Linux Mint. While there are many interesting features that Linux Mint offers, as we'll see in this video, Cinnamon is kinda the top one. Cinnamon Desktop is all about simplicity, elegance and ease of use. It might not be flashy, but it works really well. We get the tried and tested bottom panel based layout, which is very simple and intuitive. Since this is familiar to everybody, you can just start using Linux Mint without any learning curve. Even Linux newcomers will just know where everything is. The menu is organized and this makes finding applications very easy. We also get a fast search here. While the default theme looks good out of the box, we do get extensive options in the colors department. With recent versions, a lot of work has been done in improving Mint's looks. The Mint Y theme looks very good and it even makes the applications look great. Even the desktop elements have been modernized. For example, the tooltips have gotten a plasma inspired makeover and I love them. You can even install additional themes directly from the themes application and I highly recommend you have a look at these as some themes here completely refresh the look. Cinnamon desktop is built for productivity. App launching, app switching, it's all very fast here and the system doesn't get in your way when you are working on it. Gnome desktop is kinda guilty of this. Press the windows button and all your windows go flying around. What were you doing? Where are you? Who are you? Yeah, you might need to reorient yourself after pressing the windows button on GNOME. But on Mint, a simple menu pops up in a corner. And Cinnamon Desktop has stayed consistent in design and in how you use it for almost a decade now. That's invaluable. Both Cinnamon and GNOME are user friendly. They are built using the latest technologies and provide a great user experience. I can tell you that you're really going to enjoy using both of these, but they are different 
And since looks are subjective, you might like one, I might like the other. But both are amazing. So they both get a point each in the user interface department. Moving on to the performance department, this is where one distribution might get an edge over the other based on your hardware. Let's start by having a look at the minimum system requirements for both these distributions. Here, it's evident that Ubuntu is a more demanding Linux distribution than Linux Mint. That's subtle. But that doesn't mean Linux Mint is going to be faster than Ubuntu. It will be fast, but conditions apply. If you have a rather old and low-powered computer, Linux Mint will perform better while Ubuntu might lag. But if you have a moderately powerful hardware that is anything above Ubuntu's minimum system requirements, then there will be minimal to non-existent performance gap between these two systems. Now objectively speaking, Linux Mint uses less resources and at times it might feel snappier than Ubuntu. But then, Ubuntu is not inferior in terms of performance in any way. As long as the system requirements are met, you'll be getting fluid smooth performance from Ubuntu. When compared to Windows, both Ubuntu and Linux Mint perform much better. At larger tasks like compiling, gaming and even day-to-day -day tasks are faster on both these systems. With Mint 22, both the distros will use the same kernel at any given time and this kernel is tuned for a balanced delivery of performance and stability across a wide range of hardware. And there are many ingenious performance techs under the hood like OOMD, triple frame buffering and many more. You'll actually enjoy the performance delivery here with Mint showing an edge on older and slightly low powered hardware. Both the distros get a point each here, but you can use performance as a deciding factor based on your hardware. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Linux Mint 22 is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and they both use the same software repositories. So when it comes to software, Ubuntu and Linux Mint are very similar. Both distributions offer a wide range of packages that are easy to install and manage using their respective software managers. Ubuntu has been very actively promoting its unified packages called Snaps. While these are great and have resulted in many top software vendors like Google, Microsoft, Nextcloud, Slack and many others bringing their software to Linux, Snaps are also disliked for things like slow startup times. Ubuntu 24.04 ships with many apps as Snaps now, Firefox browser, Thunderbird email and its new app center mainly. Now this change was not necessarily received with a raging round of applause by the Ubuntu community. But the new app center is pretty cool, I liked it. It's fast, easy to use and overall enjoyable. But this new app center heavily prioritizes snaps and dot .deb apps are kinda neglected here, at least right now where the app center is just in its initial days. It might change later on, but I'd rather bet on not changing. But if you don't really care about the packaging format, Ubuntu is just golden in the software availability department, maybe even the best. You get more than 50,000 well-tested packages in the software repositories and then some more in the form of snaps. Now many new and big Linux software are available only in snap format and they work without any issues and are always up to date. So I recommend you check out these. A Linux Mint 2 gets all its software in their native .dot packages from the same Ubuntu 24.04 software repositories. They are literally the same packages. So you get that software advantage here on Mint as well. Snaps are omitted here and even Firefox is installed as a .deb package. Pretty much anything you might need can be found in the software store here. We get Flatpaks instead here. Flatpaks 2 let you install a wide range of software in their newest versions and this really takes up the software availability on Mint. I really enjoy using the Linux Mint software manager as it's nicely organized and very fast. All in all, software availability on both Ubuntu 24.04 and Linux Mint 22 is best in class. You can install pretty much anything you want on both these distros in a quick, convenient and secure way. Stability is one of the top aspects you need to consider when choosing an operating system. And you can't go wrong with either Ubuntu or Linux Mint. Both of these distributions are well supported and have a long history of being reliable. Linux Mint 22 shares its base with Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and both of these will be supported till 2029 at least. 
with Ubuntu offering extended support. They both have a 5 year release cycle so you'll receive consistent security and package updates for the next 5 years and all these updates are very well tested. Ubuntu is extensively used in the IT industry because it gives us that sweet spot between latest technologies and high reliability. Linux Mint builds on this stability and is generally considered to be slightly more stable than Ubuntu itself and it adds an enhanced reliability layer with its time shift app. All in all, both Linux Mint 22 and Ubuntu 24.04 LTS are very dependable and they both can be deployed anywhere from your laptop to your business system with peace of mind. Mint is specifically suitable for students, developers, gaming and other general desktop use cases. Ubuntu too. Additionally, Ubuntu is a great choice to deploy in businesses as it offers a paid support plan which can be very beneficial for businesses. Mint has community support only and it's great. If you need any help, you'll get it, but you yourself have to do it. Ubuntu and Linux Mint are great desktop operating systems for both beginners and experienced users. They both are easy to use and simple to navigate, making them perfect for everybody, especially people who are new to Linux. Ubuntu was originally dubbed Linux for humans. It pioneered desktop Linux for everyday usage. Ubuntu is great for people coming from the Mac side and Mint is absolutely perfect for Windows refugees. Both these distributions ship with a good number of pre-installed software like a good browser, office suite, media players and other utilities. So they both are usable immediately after installation. And it's not necessary that you have a good technical knowledge to use these systems. Absolutely not. You can be from any background and you'll just get how to use these systems once you start off with them. Overall, Ubuntu and Mint are very usable operating systems that can meet the needs of a wide range of users. When we talked about the UI in the first section, we actually didn't cover everything there is to cover. While these are the default desktop options that Mint and Ubuntu provide, they are not the only options. Mint and Ubuntu both come with multiple flavors. Flavors are simply the same base under the hood, the same engine powering the OS but with other desktop options. Linux Mint gives us three options, Cinnamon Desktop that we saw, an XFC edition that is specially useful in lower end and older hardware and a Mate variant. The other two options are mainly geared towards higher performance. Ubuntu on the other hand goes full out in this department. It provides 11 different versions, each specializing in particular use cases. There's Kubuntu which comes with the KDE Plasma Desktop, Lubuntu which offers a performance boosted OS powered by the LXQT Desktop. Xubuntu which gives us XFC. Ubuntu Mate is also quite popular. Then there are other flavors that cater to specific niches like Edubuntu which is designed to be used in educational institutes and for students. While it's primarily the main versions of both Ubuntu and Linux Mint that are used the most, the availability of these flavors is a good thing and Ubuntu gets a point here for its extended catalog of options. And you don't have to be alone on this journey, no matter which of these two you choose. Ubuntu and Linux Mint have millions strong communities and are very helpful online. You can find how-to guides and answers to almost any troubleshooting you might need. The community is quick to respond and always willing to help out. Ask Ubuntu forums are a great resource for any kind of help you might need regarding these two distributions. Yeah, most solutions on Ask Ubuntu forums will be applicable to Linux Mint as well. Linux Mint has its own forums for content specific to it. Community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu and Linux Mint and I salute each and every one of the volunteers who have imparted their time and help to make Linux more enjoyable for others. Linux community is just beautiful. Ubuntu and Mint have a ton of fantastic Linux games in their software repositories. Games like Zero AD, Xonautic can be hours of fun. Then. Steam is the most popular and most rich way of gaming on Linux today. Steam has revolutionized Linux gaming. It has a huge library of Linux native titles. Then with Steam's Proton feature, we can play many top Windows exclusive titles like GTA 5, Cyberpunk 2077, The Witcher 3 and many more on Linux. I play many games like this and it all works pleasantly smooth. Once you enable Steam Play from the Steam settings, you can install and run Windows games like they are Linux native. There's no configuration hassle here. If you haven't gamed on Linux recently, you'll be surprised at how well the whole thing works. Both Ubuntu and Linux Mint are great performers for gaming. Both the systems are tuned for a great performance delivery, so you'll really enjoy gaming here. So they both get a point each for gaming. 
Ubuntu and Linux Mint both are pretty simple to install. Download the ISO file, flash it onto a USB stick, live boot and start the installation. Ubuntu has recently brought in a new installer and it has been giving people some trouble. It works, but you have to do certain things in certain ways to avoid any issues. Anyway, I've linked the step-by-step -step guide video in the description below. You can use that to install Ubuntu if you need any help. Linux Mint, no issues, installs fine. Both Mint and Ubuntu installers have very simple options and everything is kept beginner friendly. You can install both these in around 15-20 minutes. Ubuntu automatically installs drivers for proprietary stuff like Nvidia GPUs. Mint doesn't, but it provides a driver installer which handles these easily. Overall, Mint and Ubuntu are two of the simplest distros when it comes to installation. Both get a point each year. Personally, I have mad love towards Linux Mint and Ubuntu. When you want to use a Linux-based operating system, both these distros make a lot of sense. But you can say that I am more aligned with Linux Mint. It is my main system at the moment. It offers such a comfortable desktop on which getting some work done is a genuine pleasure. You just enjoy using Linux Mint. There's no friction here. Everything works out of the box and it's all kept very simple. There are no unnecessary features, but what an operating system should do, Linux Mint does it very well. And Linux Mint is a purely desktop distribution. So from every angle, it's created with you in mind. Ubuntu on the other hand has a more diversified user base. It has its focus on enterprise usage, so its philosophy is slightly different. Ubuntu's parent company Canonical has been doing impressive innovations to make not just Ubuntu but desktop Linux as a whole a more enjoyable experience for users. But after going back and forth between these two distros a hundred times, I've settled with Mint. So my personal point goes to Linux Mint. We saw every aspect of Ubuntu and Linux Mint and we compared them in every way possible. In the end, it comes down to which of these two you resonate with the most. Since both these distros share the same excellent base and bring their own features to the table on top of that, today's comparison ends in a tie. But I hope I've laid out the information you need to choose one over the other. We saw various aspects of both, strengths and weaknesses of both, so that you can make a more informed decision. Let me know in the comments which distribution you picked and what compelling reasons you found. If not, give them both a try and pick the one that makes you more connected with your computer. The download link for both Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and Linux Mint 22 are given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also turn on the notifications so that you're the first one to know when anything major happens in the world of Linux. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up too. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours. So definitely check that out. Next up, check out this cool distro called Archcraft that's making a lot of noise in the Linux community. It's a really fantastic distro based on Arch Linux. So definitely don't miss that. All right, this is Linux Techs signing out.